हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर डूइंग फाइन एंड स्टे ट्यून विथ अस एंड फॉलो अस ऑन इंस्टाग्राम सो फॉर डेली क्विजेस वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग डेली क्विजेस ऑन इंस्टाग्राम स्टोरीज एंड कम्युनिटी टाइप इट सेल्फ सो स्टे ट्यून एंड बी एक्टिव सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम फाइव बेसिक कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यू शुड नो दैट सो लेट इज बिगिन विथ अवर फर्स्ट कमांड so our first command is task list so what all things this task list will do and provide us it will provide the image name pid that is parent id session name session and memory uses so using this command that is task list we can use this command to provide a current list of all the tasks that are running currently on our pc so there might be some hidden tasks which we won't uh, find uh, manually so using this command prompt that is task list we can have a list of all the current running files so uh, under the image name uh, column you will get all the file name which are running and the memory users by them so this is very important command prompt so you can see this many files are currently running on my system so and the memory used by them are here and where the session is like service or the console part so all the session name is also provided here this is very useful when there is some virus or any attack on your pc you can just see what are files are running and what are hidden files are running they will also uh, displayed here so now let us move for the next command prompt that is power cfg slash a or you can simply write power cf it is a very powerful command for managing and tracking how your computer uses energy so you can simply type power cf or power cfg slash a to find out how your computer uses the energy so these are some of the energy which are not stand uh, uses by my system so standby s1 this system firmware does not support this standby state so there are many files you may not understand this technical words but it is very much important when you are doing some cyber security type thing so let us now move for the third command prompt so the third command prompt is very interesting it is ip configuration means your ip address will be find here so this command relays the ip address that your computer is currently using okay not your permanent ip address it is the ip address which your computer is currently using however if you are behind a router or you are connected with a internet connection uh, you will instead receive the local area network so uh, address not your i uh, computer ip address so you can just type ip con fig to find out your current ip address or the ip address which you are connected with that is the internet connection or any router connection which your system is connected you will display that ip address so let us move towards our fourth command prompt that is netstat so netstat will provide you a list of currently open ports and related ip addresses so this command will also tell us uh, about the state the party uh, in is in so it might be in listening state established state or the closed that is waiting state so you can see here when i type netstat i got the active connection list there are four columns here protocol local address foreign address and the state the in which the protocol is so currently my all the protocols are tcp that is transmission control protocol so i got the local address the foreign address and the state currently all the states are in established state so state might be uh, listening state established state or closed state or there might be some waiting state also so this is the useful command prompt that is netstat so let us move for our final prompt that is system info uh, means system information when you type this you will get all the list or all the details of the your system system info command will give you a detailed configuration overview of your computer the list covers your operating system your hardware your space uh, the build os build type registered owner the register organization product type original install device etc etc so this is a common command prompt which you might doesn't know so type system info in your command prompt and get the details of your pc now so it is very useful and informative uh, command prompt so all the users can use this system info to get the details of your computer so i hope you like all this five command prompt and there might be some useful command from which you can use in your daily life and rest all is just useful uh, uses in 
higher level so if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and like the videos and follow us on instagram the link is in description so you will get all the daily quizzes updates there and in the community tab also and now we are active with our story so you can watch our stories on youtube so happy learning and keep supporting us